first place in the division. They've got an open date on the calendar coming up next week. So, Charles, you and I were talking about this before the game. This one for them kind of has some extra importance. It certainly does because if they can get the win here and pad their lead a bit or at least keep pace, then they can really kick their feet up and say a job well done at this point and not have to worry about ball at all until they're back in their facility, back in their meeting room getting ready for the next game. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 34. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And this is Lamb on the end round. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll run with Pollard. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Dallas. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Hands it off out of the gun, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Now it's Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A give. This is Montgomery. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Out of the gun, Fields. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 36. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Montgomery back to the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. Third and long. It's Fields. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. 